Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium, so Rectum 0.6. Not 0 0.6, okay guys, 0 0.6. No, I'm joking. I am joking. And last time, you know, we had a few spicy little battles. The Fog of War was toggled on for the tab there. We had a few spicy little battles, and we have secured a good holding in Thessaly. And thankfully, the Antigonids have decided that they are going to leave the door open for us. So I've also discovered that in Tricker, we can recruit the Thessalian Cavalry. So I'm going to stick that recruitment hub in there as well. We might as well use our money while we have a decent amount of it. And leaving behind the Greek Slingers is probably the option for us. We can uh, not quite get it onto high. But we've got two potential draw-out battles here. Although, for some reason, we cannot get to Aesis here. So maybe one draw-out battle is all we need. So let's go for Captain Paterinos. Hopefully, he takes the fight. He does. Oh, my God. This is awful. They've got nothing. They've got literally nothing. So let's go. Let's have a bit of fun. And I don't even think we'll need to use our phalangites at all. So let's go and destroy them and hopefully take the city. I will see you there, guys. Yes, Alexander, what a boy. What a man. What a man. But anyway, let's get our guys all together. We'll group these boys together. They're all on fire at will already. And we're probably just going to use these men to do the dirty work. I don't think we'll need the phalangites, but we'll keep them nearby just in case. And we've got plenty of cavalry, as well as the Athamanian Peltas. Where are they set up? Probably on top of the hill. Good, God damn it, all the way up here. But we shall come forward, and we shall meet you in a second. Here we are, guys. Let's get our guys all the way for... Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that, actually. I didn't even I didn't even see that unit coming. I was just about to wonder, where is that unit coming from? But we can uh, charge them in the back while they are... Oh my god, instantly, <laughs> instantly kill the general. Wow. Well, uh, unfortunate for you, Macedon, but <laughs> great for us. Let's get going then. Let's get our guys around this way. Let's get you guys up there, you guys into them. And the Phalangites, we don't really need to worry about them. Just need to make sure we kill as many of those boys as possible. So what I'm going to do, pull the general off, and the Zistaphora can go and deal with those boys. Getting the Javis into the Uzonoids, absolutely battering them. The Thuriophora are going to fire into our Hoplites a little bit, but it still should not be a problem. So let's get our Athamanian Peltas here around the back, ready to deal with those boys, and we'll get our cavalry up here as well. Now, they've attacked the Thuriophoroi, so let's get right in behind here, if we can, to fire into the back of them. Where are they going? The Uzonoi does not want to fight. Right, let's get into the charge, then. I really don't care about them running away from us. They only have two javelins, so it's literally pointless. Guys, are you going to fire your uh, fire your things? Oh, no, 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 wrong one, wrong one. Well, at least we managed to deal with these boys, then. You guys, just get in the fight there. We should be able to break them pretty easily. Let's fire at them. Hopefully, we don't take too many Javis with Alexander. But hopefully, we can... Come on, that charge must have killed more than that. There we go. That's better. And these guys want to get into the fight as well. Good. The goddamn Uzono, man. Uzono? I can always say that. <laughs> Not the Uzono. The Uzonoi. Would be nice, actually, to have uh, our slingers here. So, maybe we should have brought them, but... You guys get up there. Look at them go. God damn it. Just stop running, you fools. We've still got some of this unit in there. So, in fact, let's leave the Uzonoi there to do what they want. Let's get these Athamanian Peltas. Are they withdrawing? Oh, they are. God damn it. No. We cannot let them withdraw. Looks like they already have. God damn it, man. That's not ideal. You guys get in there. You guys get in there. We'll charge into here and see whether we can break them. Okay, good. Right, let's continue. Get these guys to chase them down. Looks like they're going to escape, actually. Fire, then. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, god damn it. Well, it was a decent battle. We've still destroyed them all, but that's fine. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, god damn it. I've tabbed out. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. There we go. We've killed a lot, but not... Probably not enough. Yeah, 180 left. Oh, well, they're going to retreat into the city, so we'll just take the city. I'll see you there, guys. Well, that's what happens when you don't have enough cavalry to run down the enemy. So we really do need to start upgrading to get some better cavalry. But Ambrakia needs to upgrade first. And we have put it down to low. Everywhere else is still on the best tax that it can be to keep our economy going. And yeah, what I've also been warned by a lot of people that Sparta tends to like to naval invade. So we will keep an eye out for that. So thank you for your comments. If you've got any more suggestions or anything, make sure you comment them down below. And of course, while you're at it, like and subscribe the video. Because 75% of you, yes, 75% of you are not subscribed to the channel who watch the channel. So it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel. Larissa is their capital now. We really need to start getting some bigger cities, you know. So enslaving is really good for that. But of course, all of the places we have enslaved have such little population. Like no population whatsoever. But anyway, I will end the turn here, guys. And let's see what we can do. So I've had a look at our diplomatic standing and the standing of the Antigonids. And the Antigonids surprisingly are not at war with anyone apart from the Galatians and us. That's very surprising. I don't know what they're doing. But war for them does not seem to be a good option. We also need to move our spy. He is all the way down over here because he was trying to open the gates. So I want to bring him all the way up here so we can have a look at what's going on. And yeah, the Antigonids really don't have that many armies around here, which is great for us. They have sieged down uh, this settlement over here, Pasaron. Oh, dearie me. Why have you sieged down Pasaron? But I think once we've taken this settlement, which should not be an issue, I'm going to try and auto-resolve this and see what happens. 120! Oh. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind taking those losses. We've not really lost that many men. I'm honestly considering leaving the Ambrachio Phalangites behind if we can. I think that'll be the best option in Falana. And let's destroy this as usual. What temple is that? It's only a town here as well. Temple of Dionysus. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's build those in. And I think, honestly, this army will come back and try to protect Aegeon if we go and siege it down. So I am going to go and just siege it straight down. And let's see whether they'll come and attack. If they don't, we'll take Aegeon because at the minute they don't have any siege equipment at all. The GCS are also continuing to build their lovely buffer state by trying to take Lamia. That would be amazing if they take Lamia. We'll just have a buffer to ourselves, which would be fantastic. They did have an army right there a little bit ago. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not a problem. Um, Cappadocia and the Galatians are at war. Oh dear. And Alexander is now fabulously wealthy, which gives two influence, two management, and 10% bonus on tax income. We've had a couple of buildings go in. Dodona has been built. So let's have a look at what we want here. Dodona, again, is not a fantastic town. Let's just pop in the trader. I know it's not going to produce much. Oh, four. Really? Four. It trades 10 gold. How about that? That just reduces money. Oh, dearie me. There's, there's really not much we can build here. Let's go for the Dionysus. That's the only thing. We want to keep on building, though, while we have buildings available. Let's also go for a temple over here to keep them happy. So we'll go for Dionysus here as well. And also in Tricker, we are building. In Pasaron, though, yes, we are building Dionysus too. Fantastic. So let's end the turn again, guys. A pretty quick turn this time. In fact, yeah, pretty quick turn this time. I'll move the uh, diplomat around myself and see what we can do. But after that, we will end the turn. We are making a fortune right now. Do we have any mercenaries? That's one thing. No, no mercenaries still. How many turns are we in? It says five, so about ten turns in. And still no mercenaries. Please, mercenaries, come back. Because I want to build, you know, big enough army to, you know, be sieging down more than one of these settlements at once. Because we are trying to blitz, of course. We are recruiting over here. We're also recruiting somewhere over this region, yes. Some more hoplites 
in there. In Ambrakia, we're recruiting an Akontistai so we can replace some of our better garrisons like these Athamanian Peltasts because they are a good garrison unit. Where, good, uh, a good army unit, never mind a garrison unit. So we don't want them stuck in there as a garrison for any longer. So, I will see you in a little bit then, guys. Well, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Bastards, that's all I can say. Absolute bastards. Why? Why, Rome? Why? Well, we need to be careful then, because... Rome being at war with us is not fantastic. <laughs> the Antigonids are now at war with Rhodes. Okay, that's at least good. They're at least at war with someone else, but they have ceasefired with the Galatians. I don't know why they were, um, you know, with the Galatians anyway. I've also been told in one of the comments, guys, that a lot of the time with this uh, diplomacy game, when they decline an offer, it's because a lot of the time they lose influence, your diplomat. So that's why the next uh, the next offer is not really a good one for them. So, like, for example, if we try an alliance and it's demanding and they decline, we might lose influence. But if we try over here, it's still demanding. I don't know why these guys hate us so much. Let's go talk to the Maidy instead. What's this? The Dental Arte. I, wanted to, I want to be friends with you, uh, Thracians. So, please. But it's still demanding. Oh, God. But our, our diplomat has so little influence. I mean, he's got some really bad traits here, like liar and discourteous, probably because of all our offers we've been giving out. Uh, but these guys didn't actually come to help out, so it's probably worth us going and re, uh, relieving that siege. They still don't have any siege equipment, which is very strange. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at our construction first. Let's get rid of that. And we built quite a lot of places, but we are very rich. So Ambrachia... I think it's definitely either time to go for the paved roads or the trader, both of which are good. Probably the trader because it's only two turns and it looks very likely that we're going to upgrade next turn or the turn after, which is fantastic. Finally, we can get a minor city and get some cavalry in our armies, guys, which, yeah, it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Let's also go potentially for the trader in there and with Oricon. Oh, let's have a look at what we've got access to. Paved roads, potentially. I mean, it says bonus to trade income 100%. Uh, but what does it reduce? Tax income. But yeah, the trade is not going up at all. I don't know why that seems to be the case. I don't know whether that bonus is just not registering or something when on this screen. But yeah, that's a little bit weird. But we'll get the sewer instead for that population growth. And then where else are we building? Lucas. Let's go for the trader there as well. I know these, these buildings are not going to provide us with a load of money, guys. But they will, of course, um, you know, provide us with a lot more money over time. And while we have the money, it's 100% worth it to get it in. We're also going to bring this guy up. He might actually be the garrison for there. And in Brachia, we are going to continue getting garrison troops. So over here, let's continue with our hoplites. Just standard Greek hoplites. And that's it. What do they have in here? Not much. So again, probably going to be edited a little bit this battle, guys. But let's take the next settlement. A Ginion. So the gate is down. So let's just charge Alexander through. See what he can do. And we are starting to run low on our Deuteroi right now. So if we do go to defend our lands, I think it probably would be worth retraining all these guys. Getting a fully fledged out army. Nice and spicy. Getting that in there. I think that would be the best option for us. Uh, classic. Cla classic us trying to form a phalanx and they just do this. What is that? Come on, phalangites. Stop being absolute dickheads, honestly. Like, uh, I, I love and hate phalangites in equal measure. They really, really are fantastic in some situations. And in others, they are absolute bastards. Like, they are so annoying to use in some situations. You were waiting for some salt, guys. I guess the salt has already then come out now. So, uh, yeah, let's try and bait this Thurio Foroi off the town square anyway. Hopefully, we can kill that general. God damn it. And we'll get these phalangites through. Luckily, we can retrain these boys very soon. So, it shouldn't be too much of a worry. Um, these guys are actually able to fire now. Good. Fantastic. Let's keep them going. Let's bring this 304 around there as well. 
Fire your jabbies, boys. Fire your jabbies. I mean, even if we get a little bit closer, we might have to just grind them on the town square. I don't think we need to be too careful with this army, though. You know, we've still got plenty we can do here. So, where are we now with these guys? Let's bring these guys through. You guys can get there. There we go. And we'll get you in the phalanx formation. Come on, fire, men. Fire, you're just going to stand there. Fire. God damn it. Fire into the 304, Roy. Get them off the town square. There they go. They're coming now. Good. Let's get you guys in phalanx mode. This unit did take a battering, but it's a silver experience. So, that's one really good thing. If they get into... There goes the general. There we go. He just charged straight in and died. Fantastic. Well, let us try and get through this way. You guys can go and deal with them. In fact, we'll get the Athamanian Peltas here as well. Where is the general? Oh, he's over this side. Okay, well, let's try and come around this way. Can we, general? Come on. There we go. Let's get all the way around there. And we can see if we can deal with them. You guys into phalanx mode now. And let's get through and kill these boys while they're off the square. Hopefully, they will... Uh, they will all die. Kill them now. Athamanian Peltas, let's start firing into there. That's fantastic. And bring the general round. So we've probably taken a few more, taken a few more losses than I would have liked. But I think it's fine. I don't think it's too much of a worry. Hopefully these Javis are going to destroy this 304 Roy and not our own men. You can see, there we go. They have turned around, which is not, you know, a good idea for them. But fair play. Right, let's get our Phalangites over here so they can push them off. The town square and let's see whether we can uh, we can attack them there they go i mean these jabbies are going to do a lot of damage but you can see that they're just on the town square now so we need to push them off push them off the town square my men right general out because that is a mess <laughs> we don't want our general dying too much there we go fantastic we did manage to push them off the town square there so let's end the battle we lost 67 men but overall a great victory Glorious, glorious, even after my salt, a glorious, glorious victory. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Glorious victory, of course. And I think with Iginion, let's just occupy. It is only 500 people. It is not <laughs> It is not a very good settlement for anyone, really. I wonder whether two of the Zistaphori could garrison here. Yes, they can. Two men. Two silver boyos, to be fair, as well. But let's go for the attack there. And let's kill Aesis as well. So what does he have? Oh, it's just a really damaged army. Well, I don't think this will be a problem once again. Again, we've got our cavalry ready to go. Beat their cavalry. They've got Thessalian cavalry, though. That's where the mercenaries are going. They have, they're the ones who have uh, <laughs> taken the old mercenaries. So let's get rid of these boys. Yes. Whether the day goes well or not, it's in our hands. Brave sons of Greece, fight well and earn the favor of the gods. Well, I don't think I've actually heard that speech before, so fair play. Uh, we've been, uh, you know, we've got a new speech. I, 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 I definitely don't think I've heard that one before. Or if, I, if, if it's been there, I will have just skipped through it. So let's use our Thurio Foroi mainly again. We'll use the Athamanians. And, of course, we've got our Cavalry Boyos. We're going to go over this side because, as usual, they are very likely to just be hiding on this side, up on top of the hill because it's the high ground. So let's get going. And we can't actually see. Oh, there they are. Exactly what we thought. So let's go for him and let's try and kill them very quickly indeed. So there goes the Cavalry. What is that to start with? That is a Greek Peltas. So we're going to have to use our cavalry to run them that, them down. Like I say, I really do want to destroy this whole army as usual. There they come. They're coming forward. Good. That's good for us. So let's get these boys on phalanx mode now. And let's halt these boys so they can fire. There go the Peltas. Let's go after that Thessalian cavalry. And these guys should hopefully be able to fire now. Just caught them. Very good. Very good. They're actually firing into the Thessalians. Here comes their general. Good. Let's go and fight him. Oh! Absolute chaos, my friends. Absolute chaos for the general there. These guys just turn around and fight. Just turn around and fight, and then we'll get rid of the Thessalians. Well, that's at least the general dead. These guys need to come forward and go after whatever these guys are. 
We've also got some Peltas over here. The Phalangites are never gonna, you're never gonna get them, so we need to do that. The Thessalians are dead, so now it's all up to the cavalry. So let's go, Athamanians, you can come up here as well. But now it's all down to the cavalry. And luckily, they're just probably winded. No, they're still just warmed up at the minute. That's good for us. I don't care about you, man. Just get out of the way. Get out of the way. Fool. Fool. Did hopefully kill them in one blow. There we go. Good. Let's get the Peltas. They're already wavering. Oh, they've actually fired. Wow. Fired while they were running. Fair play to the boys. Fair play to the boys. Nice. Now broken straight away. Straight into that one then. And then let's go. There we go. Let's kill everyone now. Glorious victory. Glorious victory, guys. Well, Aesis and his Tin Pot army were just marmalized, weren't they, boys? That was a bit of a rush attack, and it worked. Marmalization at its finest. Right, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Glorious victory, and it looks like we might have actually got a trait. A retinue, fantastic. A captured flag. More morale for Alexander. Let's actually have a look at his traits. I don't think we did last time too much, but he's got loads of good retinues now. More So minus one morale, which is not good, but two of General's hit points for the shield bearer is really good. Let's have a look. So apparently troop morale is minus two. Why is that? I know he's got the movement. So that's minus one from Drillmaster. Let's have a look down a bit further. Where is this other? Shameless despoiler. The army led by this man won a great victory, but he has taken almost all of the spoils for himself. Ah, because he's selfish. He is, you know, less morale because he's a shameless despoiler. His men are angry and reluctant to serve under someone who steals from others what should rightfully be theirs. Well, that's not great, even though he is a great commander. Unfortunately, we can't reach Ambrakia just yet. But look, there's another Antigonid army over there. Now, plan-wise, we've taken two, or have we taken three, no, two settlements so far this uh, this episode. So, let's have a look at what we can do in here. Let's get the land clearance. We want to get that growth in Aeginion as quick as possible. So, let's come back to Ambrakia, and hopefully we don't stop it upgrading by retraining all our men. <laughs> but one more enslavement should be enough anyway. So, yeah, I think after this, we'll just square off Thessaly, take these two settlements, and then maybe go on a march north and just go for Pella. Maybe uh, through Dion, Baroya, and then get Pella, because Pella starts as a minor city. I don't know about Thessalonica, though, but that's fine. Anyway, I'll see you after the end turn, guys. Well, it looks like all your comments have come true, my friends. <laughs> Here comes the Spartans. Luckily, I think it's that healer army they start with, so... That really shouldn't be hard to deal with. Um, now, let's have a look. We just popped over the 6,000. Now, if we queue that in and make sure that it goes, then if I do this, will it still be in there? No, it won't. Well, I'm happy to wait one or two more turns for that to come in anyway. We do need to retrain our men. We're going to have another Akontistai in there as well. And Ambrakia, yeah. A new faction emerges, Militus. Fantastic. That's awesome to see. So, a new candidate for adoption. We are definitely going to take that boy. And he is over here in uh, Pharsalos. So, we are still training more men over here. Now, where is very rich? Where has the most money? In fact, no. Let's go for Antigone Chionia with this boy because he's got the most uh, population in that settlement. Unfortunately, going to take a little bit, an extra turn to get there, which is a little bit annoying. But that's no problem whatsoever. Antigonids! Paplagonians are just just going mad, apparently, this turn. I have no idea why. <laughs> Mainly because they allied the Galatians. Oh, they've become a client st state of the Galatians. Wow. Well, the, uh, the Galatians seem to be going pretty ham, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but that's fantastic. Right, we've now got roads all the way through our lands, which is glorious. Now, really, what I want to do is get these places to start growing. They have low fertility, so it's really hard to do that. So going to have to get some sewers into Fenike, Pesaron as well. We can't just rely on enslavements to grow these places, especially as we get more and more settlements. They're going to get less and less people from the enslavements. So yeah, we definitely need to start getting some of these places to grow very quickly. I know it doesn't help that we are on very high tax rate, but at some point we will pop it down to like normal and low for a lot of these places. 
just so we can actually make them grow because they are on such a low fertility. Now, do we go for Epiro Recruitment 2 in Fast Loss? I think we do. Absolutely. That is definitely worth it. And in Ferai, we have got the second level. So now we can actually train Greek Archers and Slingers. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I'm wondering if we go for City Barracks here as well. Yeah, I think so. Let's start getting some better troops. And thereby, Pathiotides, that's just the last of our money this turn. So we have used all of our money. But next turn, we're going to have a pretty decent army. Do I want to send across these guys to join up? I do. So, yeah, let's send them off. There's no point keeping them in there, is there? And I don't think we've got any more spare troops. But now that this settlement is done... But, yeah, we're going to keep governors in these settlements to get us more money, more growth. All that sort of thing. Keep them in there. This guy's got nine management now, which is insanely good. But anyway, let's end the turn and see what this juicy Spartan army decides to do. Well, thank you, Antigonids, for that. I really appreciate it. And the Spartan bastards have attacked Lucas. I mean, we're never going to actually go and attack Sparta. So if they want to waste away by coming and attacking us, I have absolutely no issues with that whatsoever. So let's go and destroy this army. So we're going to get into here. And let's have a look at what's actually in this army. Oh, dear me. <laughs> this is an absolute shit muncher of an army. <laughs> oh, Spartan cavalry as well. Oh, dear. They do have their Spartan general's bodyguard, of course, which is a very good unit. But, yeah, we we're going to absolutely ruin these boys. No problem whatsoever. And then uh, hopefully we've got enough movement points to at least come and challenge this army to start with. I doubt it, but we can uh, we can at least have a look. So yeah, Sparta and Epirus now at war. Very nice indeed. So let's have a look at what we want to build. And Barakia got that one. I think it's still worth getting the market, even if it doesn't produce us that much money. Only 50 extra. You need the market to build some higher tier buildings when you get up to the next level. But we are still very close to that threshold. So let's just go for the sewer instead because it's only two turns. And in two turns, we will be ready to upgrade the building as well. Korkira, let's go for the sewers there too. And we've actually run out of money now, it seems. And we've been building in a lot of places. So even with our 7,000 a turn, it's not quite enough to do, um, to do building in everywhere after last turn when we spent so much money. But we should catch up with that. But anyway, let's get into this battle guys we will feast and drink. yes Tonight, i love a feast tell each other tales of our bravery but before that we must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of alexander yes and yes the boys and it looks like a pretty good battle map although we are going to be fighting uphill which is not great for their um missile boyos we do luckily now have some meat shields in our missile boyos, which we can stick to the front. And we're going to use these guys in behind them. Are you all on fire at will? You are fantastic. Let's keep that going. Now, the one issue we might have here is the fact that we won't be able to really deal with their missile troops until we've killed their cavalry. Wow, where is their army, though? That's the, that's the question. Surely we can see them. Oh, there they are. Hello, army. Let's get around that way. Let's get running as well, and I'll see you in a sec. Here comes some of their Spartan cavalry. Really don't, I really don't mind about this. Because they're going to charge the Aphamanians, and they're actually not too bad in melee. So yeah, instantly routed. Good. Fantastic. Now, we don't want to waste any more of our ammunition on that. So let's move our men forward. Then let's also move these boys forward. Hopefully ready to fight. Actually, let's get you back. Go, 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 go. Just get back, my friends. I'm going to get this unit here ready to fight. I don't think we really need our phalangites for this battle. But it might be worth trying to do a little flanking maneuver with them. So get those javis off. Especially... Oh, they're going... Oh! Half of them are going to withdraw then. Oh dear, they're all withdrawing. Not the Spartans again. I don't think... Where can they withdraw to? They literally cannot withdraw. I don't know where they're going to withdraw to. But at least we can kill their general. 
I mean, the rest of this army is just trash. So it should not be a problem at all. But yeah, let's get our men around. Oh no, you should be, you'll be fighting there. These guys, let's get them out here to fight them in the back. And our cavalry, let's go and see if we can catch any of these men. That's the main thing for our cavalry right now. Let's also try and get our peltas around to the back. Now, I'm not bothered about the perioikoi hoplites. In fact, what I want to fight... Can you guys get in phalanx formation, please? There we go. Let's get these men around the back now as well. And you... You can fire into the perioikois. You too. And then we'll get these guys here as well. There we go. We've got our cavalry. Come on, Cav. Really? Can you catch... Can you catch some of them? Come on, you have to. You've got to try at least. Right, into the back of the perioikoi hoplites. Good. Now, there's their general. Where is he going? He's wavering already. Well, kill them. You guys kill them. I don't know where he's going. He's just completely split up. These guys, get in there. I don't mind them fighting to the death. It's actually quite good for us. Uh, yeah, our general cannot fight anything. So let's go after the Cryptia. In fact, let's set up here first. If we can, let's speed this up. We don't need to spend so much time on this. I know the Cryptia are spearmen, but let's have a go at them. Let's rally our general as well. And hopefully we can break them here. That was the worst charge I've ever seen. Just jog into them, why don't you? There's the general. Surely, surely that's the general dead. Is that not the general dead? Very strange. Uh, is that him dead? No. There we go. Now he's dead. Good. They should want to rout now. Yep. Right, let's get out. Let's get out anyway and just charge them one more time. We don't need to worry about that general unit at all. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry because it's going to be dead completely anyway. We just need to kill this crypt here. And then we should be good. Go, go, go. Charge, men. Charge. Surely they're going to break. They're a crypt here, man. There we go. Broken fully. There we go. Well, I think we'll end the battle there. Still got 46% of their men left, but they are absolute trash men. They still killed 100, actually, but that is mainly because of the general. And now the general's out the way. The next battle should be insanely easy. So I have no idea, actually, where that army's gone. I, have they gone onto ships? Where have they gone to? <laughs> That's very weird. I... They must have retreat. How could they retreat, though? Because the only way is through us, and we were here. So I don't know how they've managed to do that. Unfortunately, we don't have much movement left for our guys, but that's fine. We, uh, we'll manage to get this unit next time. Have they built anything yet? No, they haven't. So I will see you after that end turn, guys. Let's actually join up with you as well. So we get, we've got a pretty decent-sized army now. It's not amazing, but it's good. And we can't actually recruit anything more. So, I'll see you after the end turn, guys. Oh, you do tempt me, Sparta. You do tempt me. Like, why? <laughs> this, <laughs> this poor army is absolutely useless. We're also transgressing against the GCS. I know, but we have to walk through this way, my friends. That is the problem. We have to. We have to. I, I promise. <laughs> all right, let's destroy this army once and for all. Where did this new army come from? But it, it's still absolutely trash, so... I'll probably edit this down quite a bit, guys, but I'll see you then. Here we go. We're just we're just skirmishing with them at the minute, trying to throw all our jabbies into them. And hopefully they charge soon. Looks like they're coming for the charge, but they're going to charge into the uh, Phalangites if they want to do that. Fine. No problem. They're going to catch a couple of the men, but now we can fully surround them and flank them. I don't think we're going to destroy this army because the cavalry itself is very easy to rout and very hard to destroy. So let's keep coming forward with group two. You can't withdraw now, guys. You've, 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 you've made your bed. You have to lie in it. You cannot withdraw anymore. Come on. Don't be a dickhead about this. And let's keep coming forward with this flanking force. So we're just going to sandwich them in here. Hopefully. I mean, even further forward if we can. Phalanx down, phalanx down, phalanx down. There we go. Just in time, my friends. Just in time. You guys kill them. There we go. Let's see. I don't think we need to try and surround these men if we want to fully destroy the army. What are they doing? They're just pushing through. They're like madmen. Like absolute madmen. 
Now, I think, unfortunately, even if we kill this... See, look at that! that they killed so many men with that. How? How? All they did was just try and run through. Surely that should allow my, like, army to win. Good. That was, that was a pretty brutal charge. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad we caught that charge, actually. That was pretty cool. They should not be fighting to the death either, these boys. Let's speed this up. Let's... Yeah, there we go. Good. Right, let's continue because we need to kill these guys as much as possible. Go, go, go. Kill as many of them as possible before the end of the battle. And maybe, just maybe, this army will be destroyed. I mean, we've killed one of the uh, cavalry units fully. Just the other one. So, it's saying one, but they have escaped with a few men. So... Oh, yeah, that's going to be plenty. Fantastic. They still killed 73, which is just annoying. And we might not be able to get to the Antigonids now, but I'll see you there. Victory and honor. And, yeah, that uses so much movement points. Well, let's get going over this way. Honestly, Sparta, if, you, if you've got more men to drop off, I'm happy to lose whatever this settlement, Lucas, because... It's really not that good. We've also got a Greek turncoat, which is more command. Not that he needs any more command, Alexander, because he is a beast. Two gold chevrons on these guys now, so they're even better than they were before. These guys have got three rams now. All I can hope is that they don't attack. Otherwise, we lose this Ambarachio phalangites, but it's fine. Let's have a look now at our building, though, because we are not building in anywhere, really. So, Fenike, let's choose these wisely. I think, Fenike, let's go for some more growth with Aphrodite. Just to get a bit of extra growth in there. Same thing with Pissaron. Probably, because there's not really anything else that's that useful at large town level now. So, Kikiros, let's go for the trader. Because even, yeah, 73 for the trader there is actually quite decent. And Dodona as well. Let's go for those sewers. Oricon. I'm thinking Aphrodite again. We need to get all these places up to large town ASAP. Let's go for the roads maybe in Lucas or the sewers. Well, let's uh, let's not worry about Lucas for now and go for the land clearance in Tricker because it's nice and cheap. And then get the trader in Iginion. It's got a really big population growth at the minute. But that's very much likely down to, yeah, down to this. So, yeah, I mean, it's got better fertility than a lot of our other regions, actually. Oh, no, it's still low, but it might be better than some of these other regions over here. So, I'll see you after... Oh, no, let's... Uh, have we got any ability to train? Let's train another Akontistai. I think with these two Akontistai right now, with a third, we should have plenty enough to garrison our next wave of expansion into Demetrias and Larissa. And then at some point, we will start removing the garrisons from here. Now, I don't mind having a garrison in these southern ones because of this border. If anyone comes and takes this, then we will be at risk of being at war with them. But yeah, the Spartan invasion has roundly failed. <laughs> Glorious. Well, anyway, I'll see you soon, guys. And actual Antigonus Gonatus is leading this army. So I would love to kill him for revenge for our father. So let's auto-resolve that. And I really do want to kill him. I hope he comes out of the settlement as well. No, he's going to he's gonna stay in the... Okay. Well, <laughs> that's a quite a big army <laughs> that you've got there, Antigonids. Quite big. <laughs> Who would have thought extreme mode would be quite extreme? Um... Yeah, that's quite a big army, and we really do not have the biggest of armies right now. We, I mean, we've got about 15 men, haven't we? 15 troops? That's fine, though. Let's see. If we've got any mercenaries, that would be good. Uh, Rome attacking us once again. <laughs> Great. But, oh, we can't afford that right now, can we? Another, another roads, uh, another uh, war with Rome. Um, but there's Sparta. There's their army. There they are. <laughs> Kios has been destroyed. Oh, well. So, 13 men in this army. We can get mercenaries, though. And that army would not be reinforced by Antigonus Gonatus. I think we've got to go for it. So, let's get here. Potentially. No, let's go from here. Because that might actually, if we look at the map contours, might be 
further above them. We may be going down the hill rather than here. It would likely be up the hill. So I'm thinking we go there. But can our unit reach there? That's the question. Not quite. So we'll have to go from slightly to the side. So I have to go from here. Let's then join up this hoplite. And we will go for that attack. But yeah, the Antigonids have definitely ramped up production, it seems. And Falana has been occupied. They just occupied it this time. They didn't enslave. So that's good for us. We're going to re retain population in there when we take it back. And Ambrachia can now upgrade. Fantastic. So we're going to spend all our money on that this turn. And then probably get another Phalangite because... You know, our phalangites are so useful. We might as well cue that in right now so I don't forget. And then, yeah, let's... Uh, this will probably be the end of the episode, guys. A big Antigonid battle. Once again, it seems. Always to be towards the end of the episodes when this occurs. You're kidding. Because of this guy, we cannot attack. Oh, no. I thought he had at least the movement to attack... Well, god damn. Well, that is a bit of a mistake. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the turn and hope that this army... Okay, they can't actually reach us. Fantastic. Well, hope that Antigonus Gennatus or Antigonus the Blessed <laughs> uh, doesn't come and join the fight here. But let's see. Let's see. Okay, no, they're going to go for Pharsalos, which is good. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you, Antigonids. That is a silly, silly move. Make sure we don't move past the city. But Antigonus Gonatus is still in Falana as well. So I want to siege him down. I want to kill him for revenge for our father, of course. Our glorious father, Pyrrhus. The Spartans are just ambling around. If we get Deuteroy in here, we could probably beat these armies. I mean, they're just trash armies, really. Poor Sparta. Doesn't know what to do. So, yeah, we, we, we want to beat them. Um, but, yeah, I think we're in a pretty decent situation right now. I know it doesn't look like it. There's a lot of armies. But if we can kill them, they can't even reach us if we siege down Antigonus Gennatus. I mean, they may have another army around this way somewhere. Looks like they've got a lot of armies, actually. What are they? Oh, my God. How are they getting these armies, man? <laughs> well, extreme mode seems to be quite extreme. <laughs> This is brutal. We've hardly even got a recruitment infrastructure in place right now to fight them. Never mind, you know, pump out as many units as this. This is crazy. But it is a good challenge, isn't it? So we can also recruit here. We can also recruit here. So we do, do need to start absolutely spamming out more troops. I also want to get some stables and cavalry in there as well but i'm thinking let's go for this battle and then we'll do our building afterwards if we got any more notifications lots of wars the seleucids and the ptolemies don't seem to fight each other very much anymore which is very strange um especially when they start with massive armies right next to each other <laughs> but yeah it's fine and yeah let's uh we'll do our building after this battle because we should get some money from beating this army if we do beat it now, they have no general. Well done, AI. That's incredibly dumb. And they have zero cavalry. Do we want to recruit any mercenaries here? I would quite like some Tarantine cavalry. Because although they are javelin cavalry, they are quite a decent cavalry. No, they're not. They're, good. they're a good cavalry for running down enemy troops. They're so expensive, though. I mean, we don't need them. We're going to have two cavalry units in the battle itself. Because we're going to have the general as well. So, yeah, let's let's go for it. I mean, they've got some good troops in here. Cretan hoplites. Where have they sent those? And mercenary Peloponnesian hoplites. Agraeanian infantry as well, which are a really good Peltast sort of unit. Cretan archers, which are good. But phalangites, we are going to win the day with our phalangites. Hopefully, we shall see. I'll see you there, guys. Here we are. This is a fine day for battle. Every day is a fine day for battle when your heart is brave. We're going to have to be brave in the coming few turns, guys. With the amount of stacks that they have, we are definitely going to have to be brave. 
they've decided to find solace around the rock. The glorious rock. Worship the rock. It shall protect you. The rock will protect you, my men. The rock. <laughs> Why they've done this, I don't know. But it's good for us. And now it's time to squish them against the rock that they have found some sort of solace in. I mean, we can pr pretty much block them off here, which would be awesome if we could do that. Let's also get these guys and start squeezing inwards. We'll get you guys slightly forward so they can fire a little bit more. And let's get these guys into the fight. Here we go. We've completely squished them now. We've completely squished them against the rock. The rock that they glorify so much, that they love so much. The glorious rock. <laughs> what imbeciles? What is this, by the way? Cretan archers. We'll smash those boys. There, get in the fight. You guys need to get your phalanx down. Whoops. Bit of a mistake there. These guys, you should be firing away. Hopefully you are. Apparently they don't want to fire. We'll fire at them then. You guys fire at them. We're going to go after the Cretan archers. And we're going to get our Thuriophoroi around this side here. Once we've destroyed this general that's a Greek slinger. Let's go for them actually first. Let's not worry about those Cretan archers for now. These guys should be firing away. Fire at the Thuriophoroi there. You guys keep firing at the Phalangites. Couple of people taking a lot of losses. But we've got our Thuriophoroi around the flank now. Where's the other Thuriophoroi? Let's fight there. You guys fire at them. And we're gonna, just going to go and kill the general so that we can start routing these guys over here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem over this way. This flank is fine. It's kind of blocking them fully off. Fire at those Cretan hoplites. They're a very good unit. Want to get rid of them. You're going to just come through and do something that you can do. Have we got our general is in the fight now. Completely running down these men. If we can kill the general and run him down, that would be great. So let's go for the charge. Taking a bit on the side there, but that's fine. He's fleeing. Now let's kill him. Go on, men. Please kill him. I don't know where he actually is in this unit. Not there, at least. Where is he? I don't actually see where their general is. Go on, men. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, they're already routing on this side. Glorious. And they don't know where to go. Poor guys. Poor guys. This unit is going to take a bit of a battering, but it's mainly these hoplites are just not good enough right now to fight the Antigonids to the uh, to the right standard guys come on get through there's the general that's why they're struggling to go and kill this unit now kill him in fact let's go back this way and hopefully we can kill him but it's not actually that useful anymore that necessary oh just just don't worry he's, he's going to be gone from the battlefield so let's come around this flank and let's see what we can do here let's also get these guys over this way to try and flank these men and we're going to get our cavalry back in the fight. They're a little bit tired now after chasing them all down. But that's fine. Let's go for the squish on these boys. Because there's three units there we could really do with the old squish. Now let's get these guys in there. The old sandwich. The old BLT. And then them, them changing direction like that's actually fantastic for us. That's going to allow us to squish them some more. Hopefully shake them. Make them run away. Shake them to death, basically. <laughs> but this is unfortunate. We do need some, like, good, fast cavalry. Because our heavy cavalry, although it's so good in melee, is awful at chasing down the enemy. In fact, what we should do is get these guys out this way to chase down the enemy. I should have used these men to actually chase these guys down. But that's fine. Nothing we can do about it now. Was too busy worrying about other stuff. I don't care about them anymore. We're just losing men there for no reason. So get out of the fight. Oh, very hard is so brutal. Like, we lost so many men just fighting Greek Peltas, my man. With heavy cavalry. Like, generals, bodyguards, cavalry. There we go. That's broken them. Macedonian hoplites shouldn't be too much of a worry now then. So let's turn around and let's see whether we can get these Macedonian hoplites to rout. You guys need to come forward. Keep squishing. Keep squishing. Yeah, you guys go after them. You guys, how have you got into the fight there? That's not ideal. <laughs> we didn't want that. <laughs> Same as you. Get out of the fight, man. Oh, it's the Cretan archers. Right, let's go for a charge on them anyway. And yeah, you guys can chase down these guys, the Thuriophoroi, while our cavalry is too busy doing other stuff, like chasing the old uh, Cretan archers down. Let's go. 
That was the awful charge again. It's mainly because they're so tired, I think. But hopefully we can break them. There we go. Broken straight away. Then we should be able to come around this way and break the rest of them. You guys chase them down. Yeah, you guys should be fast enough to chase down Thurio 4 Roy, no problem. Chasing down Peltas is going to be a little bit harder for that unit. There we go. Here comes the mass routes. Let's get going. Just got one unit left. And that is the Peloponnesian Hoplites are a notoriously hard nut unit. Hard fuckers, these, uh, these Hoplites. But they are going to fight to the death. In fact, that's something that we would quite like to happen. Oh, and the Greek Peltas as well, of course. Well... I don't think there's anything we can really do about that one. So who have we got in here? These two 304 units. Go and fire some javies at those boys. And with our cavalry, we'll chase everyone else down. Now that should be the battle, really. Good. Glorious. Glorious battle. Glorious battle, my friends. Let's get in there. Yeah, everyone else is routing. How many have we killed? It says 13%, but I just want to... Make sure. So I'll see you at the end, guys. Oh, glorious, glorious victory. We lost about 500, but we killed 1,300. So as long as they keep sending stacks like this, we can deal with it. But if they, you know, did a coordinated attack with a few stacks, that's when I think we'd start to lose some ground. But hopefully now we can siege down Antigonus Gonatus and kill him for revenge. Victory and honor, of course. And the enemy army has routed. Now... If this army wants to come and help Antigonus, they can do. Because I think we can deal with that. But just look at these armies. And then they've got another pretty much nearly full stack over there as well. Pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. Is there anywhere else we can uh, train some troops? I don't think so. So let's now do our building then. Fenike, let's have a look. Are we recruiting anywhere? We are recruiting in here. Yes, here and in Ambrakia. Yes, that's fine. That's enough recruitment. For now, let's go for the market then. And then in Pasaran, let's also go for the market. Now, expensive buildings, but should be good in the long run. But I think we're going to end it there today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And of course, guys, yes, we're going to continue fighting. And hopefully we can kill Antigonus Gennatas last time. Uh, sorry, next time. Not last time, but look at the devastation over here. That's insane devastation. Don't know where that's from. Probably from enemy armies, so probably from them coming down here a couple of turns ago. But yeah, I mean, we're in an okay situation. The blitzing has kind of had to stop, though, now, because they've got so many armies in every single settlement. It's crazy. We could have even gone for a draw-out battle there. That would have been interesting. But I think the chance to kill Antigonus just has clouded our vision in a, in a cloud of rage. So we have to go after him. So I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all again on the next video.